Time out. Hey, we are taking our second time out of the year. Nick is actually standing on a hot box right now because he's not tall enough and it looks weird. Nick next to me. I know you're here to watch me talk and to hear my thoughts, but Nick is here, so you're going to have to deal with him. We're going to go right to Nick. He's not going to show you Wakefield's Sweetening Unis. He might tell you about the 91 points they scored, but he might also tell you about how many points were scored against a good Creighton team. I'm not quite sure what your definition of new is. I mean, those uniforms are a year old. I talked to Coach Mike Kassler about that actually this morning. But Wakefield, seriously. By this morning, he means the morning of Tuesday, August 30th. Time in. Wakefield scored 91 points in their opener, and they scored points in pretty much about every way you could on the football field. Had an interception return for a touchdown, kickoff return for a touchdown, punt return for a touchdown, safety, rushing touchdowns, and passing touchdowns. Timeout. You know, as much as I'd like to hear about Wakefield's 91 points and all the scoring that they did on Friday night, I'd also like to hear about Neely Oakdale scoring against Creighton. Neely Oakdale scored 72 points against Creighton. What? I need to take another freaking time out because Creighton is sponsored by A to Z Vac and so here's Justin Webb. A to Z Vac and so we'd like to thank you for making us your destination for all your floor care needs and for keeping us as big a part of Northeast Nebraska's high school sports. Thanks Justin. Back to you Nick. Problem with Creighton is that we're facing a tough offense in Neely Oakdale. Scored 72 points, over 600 yards of offense, Grant White over 400 yards through the air. In the first half alone, 272 yards passing on 18 and 20. Just a phenomenal night through the air. I'm not going to call it since you stopped. Where did Grant White get his name? You know, I don't know. I did not ask him that in his post-game interview. His parents probably named him. It wasn't a situation like Mark Twain, you know, where he heard the people calling, Mark Twain, Mark Twain, although Grant White sounds very similar to Mark Twain, wouldn't you say? Not necessarily. Norfolk Catholic is actually four syllables. We say it as five syllables. Four syllables, Norfolk Catholic, on the football field. Let's talk about them because a rarity happened from what I understand. For the first time since 1996, Norfolk Catholic lost its season opener. And not only was it a rarity for Norfolk Catholic to lose its opener, it was actually the first time in four years that any of the city teams have lost their season opener. Norfolk High had a tough loss against Lincoln East. Norfolk Catholic lost to number one rated Wahoo Newman. And Lutheran High Northeast really struggled in the second half in a loss against Cross County. Time out. Why did Lutheran High struggle in the second half? Had a few kids struggling with cramps. Penalties kind of caught up to them. And Cross County is a very physical football team. Ran for roughly 400 yards against the Eagles. How far do you think a Lutheran High is going to be able to go, though, with their speed, with the lack of depth they have? They could make a run in Class C, too. I don't think they would necessarily be at Memorial Stadium, but I could definitely see them being a playoff team if they can get things straightened out on the penalty and, and if they stay healthy. But staying healthy, I think, is going to be the biggest thing for them. Tell me about anything else that happened on the football field last week that might have been somewhat of a surprise that people might not have seen coming. But people other than you who were 7-7 seven, seven predicting <laughs> One thing that may have been a surprise, Bradley Bunner of Clarkson Lee approached a state record last week, eight touchdowns running the ball, even though it was his first game technically at the quarterback spot for Clarkson Lee in a win against Pender. I'm telling you, Brad Bunner is going to be, I believe, one of the best at pure athletes in the area. They have him listed at quarterback. He was a running back the last three years. It'll be interesting what he does this coming week against Guardian Angel Central Catholic. Well, it's time out. How many cows per person do you think Cumming County requires its citizens to have? Uh, I would imagine it be in the few hundreds probably. You would be correct. It's 500. There is a mandate in Cumming County that every person in the county has at least 500 cows. They can be in their backyard. They can be in a feedlot. They can be out in the field. You can keep them in your room. I kept 500 cows in my room as a kid and they would help me get to sleep every night. These cows were like my best friend. There was Eddie and Lacey and Aaron and Rogers and Clay and Matthews. Yes, I named them all after Green Bay Packers because that's what I think you, of the And Packers. you knew that they would become Green Bay Packers, what was this, probably a decade ago? This was much more than a decade ago. <laughs> See, I always forget how much older he is than me. And that's because of the way you look compared to the way I look, right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So, anyway, that's all we got for this week. It's been fun taking time out with you. We'll put you in the corner for time out again next week. That's Nick. And that's Tom.